Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, I would like to share how to solve the system of equations by using the Gauss elimination method. Firstly, convert these equations into a matter matrix form with all the coefficients written on the left while the constant written on the right. As we can see, the last equation with coefficient of 1 for the unknown x. To make the calculation simpler, I'm going to put this in the first row. So we have 1, 2, 1 with constant 4. And for the rest of the equations, let's transfer. We have 3, 1, 2. 3, 2, negative 3, negative 1, and negative 3. Next is to reduce this matrix to HLM4 with the entries in the lower triangular be all equal to 0. It's not compulsory for us to reduce this matrix completely with all the diagonal entries be equal to 1, else equal to 0, since this is Gauss elimination method, but not Gauss Jordan elimination method. To make 3 0, we should minus itself, which means that we should take 3 minus 3. However, we should always bear in mind that we couldn't take the same row and minus itself. All we have to do here is to consider the other row. So I'm going to consider the first row with n3 1. So we have the second row be converted to the second row and evolve the first row. In order to make 0, I should take minus 3 times of the first row. Since 3 minus 3 times 1 equal to 0. And so for the third row, we have the third row be converted to third row and we should minus 2 times of the first row. Since 2 minus 2 times 1 equal to 0. Let's perform calculation for the rest of the entries. After 3, we have 1. We should follow exactly the same operation here for row number 2. We should minus 3 times the entry from the first row. Always refer to the same column. So the corresponding value is 2. When we take 1 minus 3 times 2, we should obtain negative 5. So we write it here, negative 5. Next, we have 2. Use exactly the same operation, 3 times of the value in the first row row so we have one and this is equal to negative one so right here negative one and for the constant we have three also minus three times the value from the first row which is four and this yield negative nine so we write negative nine here and for the third row we have negative three and we should minus two times of the corresponding value from the first row which is two and this is equal to negative three minus negative four which is negative seven right here negative seven next we have negative 1 minus 2 times of 1 from the first row and this equal to negative 3 so we write here negative 3 and the last entry minus 3 minus 2 times of 4 and this is equal to negative 11 so we write it here negative 11 since no calculation in both the first row so which means that they should remain exactly the same so we just have to copy and paste the last number we should convert to 0 before we reach echelon form is negative 7. When we consider row operation, we shouldn't take the first row. Since the first number of the first row is not equal to 0, which means that if we involve this number in the calculation, this will make the first number of the third row becomes non-zero. And this is not what we intended to do so. So we can only consider the second row. So we have that row be converted to that row. Since this is negative to offset negative number, we should take positive but then when we refer to the corresponding value in the second row which is negative in order to have positive we should minus since minus negative becomes positive but what we want is seven and we have five so we should take seven over five times of row number two and now let's perform calculation so zero remains same since this is 0, 0 will not contribute any value to the original value. So we have back 0 here and minus 7 will now be equal to 0. So for negative 3, use exactly the same operation. We should minus 
7 over 5, the corresponding value in row number 2, which is negative 1. And this is equal to minus 8 over 5. So we write it here, minus 8 over 5. And for the next number, minus 11, we minus 7 over 5, we times negative 9. And this end up with 8 over 5. So we write it here, 8 over 5. And for the rest of the entry, since nothing to do with this operation, we should copy exactly the same. So we have 1, 2, 1, 4 for the first row, 0, negative 5, negative 1, negative 9 for the second row. Since we have achieved the echelon form, and now we can form the equations, recall the position of the unknowns. We have x followed by y followed by z. So which means that the first equation is 1x plus 2y plus 1z is equal to 4. Second equation, 0x minus 5y minus 1z is equal to minus 9. And the third equation is minus 8 over 5z is equal to positive 8 over 5. With this reduced equations, we can now solve the simultaneous equation easily. From the third equation, I'm going to times negative 5 over 8. Because 5 cancel with 5, 8 cancel with 8, and we left 1. 1 times anything, we get back the same thing, which is z. Negative, negative, positive, and this is equal to negative 1. Let's substitute this value into the second equation. So which means that we have minus 5y. Minus minus become plus and we have 1 is equal to negative 9. So which means that minus 5y is equal to minus 9 plus move over becomes minus. Minus 9 minus 1 equal to minus 10. So what we have to do next is to take the entire equation and divide it by minus 5. So minus minus become plus. So we have y is equal to positive Two. Substitute minus 1 and 2 into the first equation. So which means that we have x plus 2 times 2 plus negative 1 is equal to 4. Which means that x is equal to 4 minus move over become plus. Plus move over become minus. So which means that x is equal to 1. And hence we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. How will I this? See you.